All right. So I had a experience at the night match this year. I had an out of battery detonation. And as you can see, it, um, well, kind of fucked this. Jeez. Jeez. See? That one ain't working. This one survived. Yeah, this is the shell I actually pulled, that got pulled out of the, um, out of the chamber, actually. So, yeah. That was fun. <clears throat> but anyway, we're going to pull apart the... We're going to pull it apart today and see uh, why there was not a battery de detonation. And maybe deem it good for service again. Maybe. Ugh. Jeez. So, we're going we're gonna to do that today. And more shit that goes in the trash, frankly. Yeah, some parts can be salvaged. Damn, it really did a number on this fucking magazine. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that was all we found. So, yeah, this might be going in my rando box of explode of broken shit. All right. There. And let's get together. All right, so this is untouched from how what po how it popped up, how it blew up on me. So let's get all this crap off of it. Eh, honestly, at this point, if anybody wants a Lynx 12, eh, we might be able to work something out. But yeah, whatever. Okay, let's put this forward. So, a bit dirty because it's a 12 gauge. Let's see. Other than just a sh what's that? What the fuck is that? Okay. I don't know what this is yet. It feels like a chunk of plastic. So all they see is a shit ton of powder everywhere. Well, I'm not 
not seeing anything obvious. I mean, it did fire out of battery, which means it didn't. I pulled the trigger and it blew up. And based on this, I am guessing it was out of the chamber this much, like three eighths of an inch. Um, let's grab a. Grab a dummy and see if I can't make this do it. So, pull the bolt. It's spinning free. Well, spinning freely. The The firing pin is free. So this wasn't like it got caught anywhere and blew up. This means it just didn't go into battery. But why did it not go into battery on this shot versus I don't know, a whole bunch of others I took? Hmm. Huh. These are always a pain in the ass to get it back together. There's that. It goes like this. to be about here. It would have had to be about, eh, right about here. Which shouldn't even touch it. I mean, look at this here. And that's still fully locked. Maybe it wasn't an out of battery. Maybe. I was just using such a light load, such a fast load, and such a high gas pressure setting, it just opened up way too quick. I don't even know if that would be possible. How... It, Because I'm looking at this and it doesn't look like there is a way for this to be. Let's see, what if it. Because it will go off here. Well, this, the carrier is still moving, but the bolt's fully locked at this point. So the bolt's fully locked up. The bolt's fully locked up at here. Hmm. Yeah, it's got three eighths of an inch free play for shit's sake. <clears throat> hmm. You know what? I'm thinking it's just user error. I'm thinking it was my fault for using the for using ammo that just didn't work right with it.
No, this is unsatisfying. I can't blame anybody. <laughs> All right, movie over.